Um, hello, okay. I'm gonna make a quick follow-up video on, on my previous video about uh, Blender 2.8 EV PBR viewport. Um, so in this video I just had like texture spheres and a, a plane. So now I'm gonna test something that's uh, a bit more high poly. But before that there was a um, blog post update earlier today about EV. So depending about the big picture, what we did so far, HDRI, PBR, realistic light shadow, post process effect, probes. Uh, no, I have not so far seen the probes, but um, maybe it's like in just in and so probably turning up in tonight's build or something. I downloaded the um, latest ver version uh, from yesterday, I think. So anyway, pr probes are going to be really interesting. In if it's uh, probably light probes, but could be also reflection probes. We got a couple of videos. Um, and then it's about the time plan. So at SIGGRAPH in uh, August, I will demo Blender 2.8. And uh, the focus will be at the fast playback and realistic characters and environments in real time. So yeah, that's gonna be probably a heavy, heavy development until August for EV and 2.8. But uh, by then there should be indirect light, reflections, could be reflections probes, could also be uh, like reflections in the OpenGL material. Transparency would be really nice to have uh, and tons of performance improvements. So yeah, and I also want uh, like uh, preview models, so I'm gonna see if I have the time to make anything. I got a lot of other projects going on, so but I'm, I'm gonna try and do something. Uh, and you all should, should do, if you have something you're working on, uh, download the nightly builds of 2.8 and just try it out. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, so yeah. And another thing I notice is that um, I usually don't have this, these large icons, but um, I noticed in 2.8 you get this really nice uh, snapshot, snapshot of the screen. So you have the EVE materials, you see the shadows, and the lighting, and also the environment map. So it looks really great compared to 2.78C, uh, I guess, it's the current build, I get it from Steam. But anyways, so I have like transparent uh, film back, but the materials are really basic and there's no shadow or lightning. So this compared to that, this is going to be way much nicer um, to easily see what kind of scenes you have. So <coughs> here I have a test scene. This is 2.78 and this is 2.8. Uh, and in this scene it's like 200,000 faces, so it's pretty uh, high poly um, for these simple shares, which are part of like uh, some stuff I have for, I'm gonna have for architectural visualization. So we probably have like uh, Arne Jacobsen furniture, the Danish design king. Anyway, so the materials in 2.78 as you see it's not that super uh, fantastic <laughs> but in 2.8 it's looking really good like the normal maps and, and yeah basically the viewport is like really snappy you don't feel any kind of um, uh, latency or lag when you move the mouse I have a Wacom so Wacom pen, but I usually get that feeling in like Blender 2.78, but you kind of get used to it. It's not that bad now, but sometimes it can be kind of like uh, kind of choppy when you move stuff and when you edit. Uh, as you see, they're ki kind of messy and high poly, so I have to clean them up one day or another. Um, but yeah, in 2.8 it feels super snappy. I get it, it feels like when you're using Unreal Engine. 
like that uh, zero lag or zero latency input it feels, feels like that, it's like super refreshing um, even when I like move around a lot of, oh, I have snapping on when I move around a lot of like um, light source it's still still quite good performance with 200,000 vertices um, so the uh, like to compare I think I have to run like cycles to really compare it um, so <coughs> in these uh, shares and this table we ha I have a um, like it's a um, um, metallic shader for the legs and uh, this could be the reflection the blog post is talking about I don't know since it just mentioned reflection but it could be that as you see if I go like really low ang angle uh, how it becomes I'm gonna make it a bit more shinier like that Oh, it's kind of shiny here but it's dark over there um, I think it's reflecting the wooden floor because yes the lower angle I go like now it's just reflecting the environment map and it uh, kind of looks good but um, this uh, s uh, reflection of the wooden floor is looks more realistic for metal as this this chair that's laying down you don't see it but on all the other ones you su see it um, that's something that's missing in 2.8 this kind of um, uh, metallic reflection so it kind of looks um, more a bit unrealistic but uh, yeah when if they're working on that it's gonna be amazing and as I said like the performance I don't really see uh, why they need to improve it even but I guess if you have like a animation uh, it could be laggy, but I don't, I don't experience that. Of course, this scene is not animated, but just navigating around it looks really good. And uh, like the shadows are really like close what you get in cycles. Of course, in cycles I have, um, I have that uh, filmic, uh, uh, not add-on, but yeah, the filmic uh, lookup tables or color management so that's not in uh, EV you can see the sky is really blown out uh, so but that's coming also probably uh, and uh, just a small thing about the um, uh, like the the this this material output not, it's not like a uber shader but more like a default default metallic uh, I guess you have also uh, a default with like just a specular workflow but uh, yeah I don't should use this metallic because it also has specularity but uh, anyways uh, just a quick th thing about the, that one or this one <laughs> uh, is that my suggestions would be not to use these like sliders uh, or as soon as you can make like group nodes, if I do group nodes now it somehow breaks but uh, in the future when you make group nodes um, I should, I'm gonna do it like in my default material so instead of um, uh, uh, these slider inputs I'm just using number inputs because they have the, the same effect as a slider you can click and drag but you can also uh, click the arrows to get to test like settings um, which you really can't do here it's just a like a number input um, or yeah or sliding like this but it's really laggy I don't know why meanwhile this one works kind of nice and you can just click around to test stuff um, yeah so looking forward to that and also the transparency would be really nice um, to have uh, also clear code uh, I don't know what it does I don't I haven't like really seen any use for it yet I know what it does in theory but it's uh, it's maybe a work in process so far 
So yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, I don't know what more to test. The the wireframe grow mode is gone. You don't see it. It used to be here, some kind of checkbox, and uh, you got uh, Mike Irvin's experimental wireframe draw mode. Also, I don't see the I don't see the reflection probes but yeah it could be reflection in the in the shader itself actually but yeah they were talking earlier about that the reflection and the lighting probes should be have the same uh, draw codes as these empty so probably gonna see when they are in we're gonna see something like this that you just place out and probably do some kind of baking So yeah, there's a lot, still, a lot of things to do for them. But the guy who makes it, uh, most of the code, as I got it, was Clement Foucault, and he seems like really talented and good at it. So I wish him best of luck <laughs> to finish it in until August and SIGGRAPH, and uh, I probably will uh, continue uh, testing it out. I mean, I kind of like this already. <laughs> speeds up a lot instead of continuously having to render yeah